4Sub C are proud to announce that we can help oil and gas operators save significant costs related to flexible risers. Flexible risers are special pipelines that transport oil and gas from the seabed to platforms or ships. They're made of multiple layers of polymer sheets and steel wires, which allow them to bend with waves and tides. The challenge with flexible risers is that its outer polymer sheath can be damaged and cause its inner steel wires to be subject to seawater and corrosion. If such a problem is not detected and dealt with, the riser will rust and weaken, and eventually it can no longer be operated safely. The riser will have to be shut down and replaced, causing the operator to face three to six months of unplanned production downtime, as well as 10 to 15 million US dollars in replacement costs. This is where Amos from 4Subsea comes in. Thanks to continuous monitoring, Amos can detect riser problems or damages at a very early stage. This means that the riser can be repaired and costly shutdowns and replacements can be avoided. When oil or gas is transported through the riser, small amounts of gas molecules penetrate its inner polymer sheet into the annulus of the riser. Amos measures and analyzes the annulus gas from the top end of the riser. The results and any alarms are presented on the Amos's touchscreen or directly in the operator's control room. The results and alarms can also be published to a secure network, making the data accessible to all connected devices. We will go through three typical examples of how Amos works. Example 1. Outer sheath damage above sea level. A common problem is that the riser's outer polymer sheath gets damaged above sea level. This is typically caused by friction against other objects, polymer aging, or by wear and tear over time. Moist air and sea water will penetrate, and the inner steel wires are prone to corrosion. Using the pressure readings from the annulus, Amos will immediately detect the breach in the outer sheath and will notify the operator. The operator can quickly repair the riser, for example, by using a standardized clamp from 4Sub-C, and the riser can continue to be operated safely without any downtime. Example 2. Outer sheath damage below sea level. The outer sheets can also be damaged below sea level. Typical causes here are wear, unfortunate impact from vessels, wires or other risers, and even heavy objects that are accidentally dropped into the sea. Using an automated annulus volume test, Amos can detect such outer sheath damage. This allows an early repair, for example, by using an ROV to install a purpose-made clamp from 4Sub-C. Example 3. Blocked Ventilation Ports Towards the top end of flexible risers, there are a set of ventilation ports that allow the annulus gas to escape. These ports can get clogged by salts and residues. This will result in a pressure buildup inside the riser, which again can lead to outer sheath damage. Amos is constantly monitoring the annulus gas flow and will detect such blockages. Hence, the operator will be notified and can fix the clogged vent ports before the situation escalates. Flexible risers are subject to issues and damage which can escalate beyond repair and thus cost operators millions of dollars in unplanned downtime and riser replacements. With Amos from 4Sub-C, a state-of-the-art system for riser monitoring, Operators can avoid such losses and costs. Amos. Avoid costly production downtime. Avoid costly riser replacements. 